Welcome back to Delta Daybreak. And if you haven't made plans later this week to go to the theater, we've got just the thing for you. Delta Center Stage is about to open Oklahoma on Thursday night, and we have two of the characters here with us tonight. The actors who are playing the characters, I should say, Jamie Harden and Spencer Morris. Thank you so much for being here with us. Thank Jamie you uh, plays Ado Annie, and Spencer is Will Parker in the latest offering from Delta Center Stage. <laughs> and uh, how fun has this been? Oh, it's been a lot of fun so far. Um, we're we love going to rehearsal and dancing and singing all night, so it's been been pretty fun. Yeah. Very, very active. <laughs> this is a wonderful musical anyway, and Delta Center Stage is just a great organization, so I already know it's going to be good, but to be a part <laughs> of something like this. But you two are relative newcomers uh, to the Delta Center Stage family. Jamie, this is your third production, yes. right? Yes, yes. Um, this is the first major, well, you know, part that I've had with some lines. <laughs> <laughs> We'll actually get to go, oh, we know her, and she gets to speak. So. <laughs> yes. Has that been a fun challenge for you? It has. It's been it's been kind of difficult for me. Um, I have to really step out of myself and be very outgoing. And, and I'm usually outgoing, but not as over the top as my character. So it's, it's ah. a lot of fun. Now, Jamie is originally from Texas mm -hmm. and works out at Stonesville. Yes. Had you done theater before you came to Greenville? Never done anything with theater So what before. prompted you to do it in the first place? Um, I met a lot of people who were very active with the theater and they invited me to get involved and I found it was a great way to meet people and everyone was so nice and inviting and very friendly so yeah. Has it worked? Met a lot of people? Yeah Good. I've met people from all over that I never would have met otherwise. Good and Spencer what about you? This is the your first or second? The second production. Second here. production yeah. And, and I have Spencer is uh, Teach for America, teaching over mm -hmm. at, in Lake Village, mm -hmm. originally from Ohio. Yeah. Theater background or not? Yes, ma'am. Um, I was actually a theater major in college. And so, oh. Yeah, so when I came down here, I, um, I all, everyone told me about Delta Center Stage. Like, God, check it out. So I did, and still going. <laughs> <laughs> and I have a feeling you're going to be going for a long time, I not going sure to so. stop doing that anytime soon. Mm -hmm. What's the fun thing about being involved in community theater? What's the draw? Um, I think all the people. I think there's mm -hmm. a great mix of people that don't are stepping outside their boundaries, like doing something they don't normally get to do. And it's really cool to see everyone grow and to see how like supportive everybody is of each other to to make this like great production come together. So, what's been one of the fun things about this particular production with Oklahoma? What can we look forward to? I really like the music. The lyrics are funny, and there's a lot of jokes kind of hidden in the lines that you really you kind of have to pay attention to to get them. But there's a lot of mm -hmm. a lot of things in there that are really funny. And I understand that, that Ado Annie, who you play, mm -hmm. is in the signature song that she sings is... Can't Say No. And she can't say no to anything? She can't say no. She is a very naive character who enjoys the attention that she's getting from the boys, and she just can't tell them no. Ah, okay. <laughs> so what about Will Parker? What can we expect from Will Parker? Uh, Will Parker, he is um, he's a fun-loving guy. He has one thing on his mind, and it happens to be Ado Annie. So, <laughs> <laughs> so he'll do anything pretty much to... To keep her, keep her in his sights. So trying to get her to not say no. Uh, yeah. All right, without giving it away though. But does well, does he get his way in the end? I think you could you can assume that oh, he does. Yeah. <laughs> we only have to see the play. It's been a long time since I've seen Oklahoma. I mean, you know, it was a, a wonderful musical made into a movie, mm -hmm. and I know Delta Center Stage hasn't done this in years. So I know it's a huge cast, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's a big about cast. fifty people, yeah. I think. Big cast. Mm -hmm. and musicals are always a big undertaking. Who's the director of this one? Sonia Bixler. All right, another veteran there, and so I know it's going to be great. Mm -hmm. Now the curtain goes up this Thursday night, correct? Right. Yeah. And runs until Sunday. Yes. Mm -hmm. So 7.30 Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night, then mm -hmm. the 2.30 matinee on Sunday. That's it. There's a lot of work that goes into getting ready for any production, but especially a musical. Yes. So has it been tiring to do that and then get up and go to work the next morning? <laughs> Very. <laughs> I would say so. Yeah. So but I, I would, have you taken this into your classroom? Uh, not yet. <laughs> My students know that I'm like a theater nerd, but uh, but um, that's about that's all we got so far. So, so what are you teaching? Um, I teach um, math. Okay. High well, school math. Mm -hmm. Could be a fun way to, to make math a little more exciting, Absolutely. throw a little theater yeah. in there. So uh, we want to thank both of you for being here with us. And then we're going to hear more about the production coming up later this week. And uh, if you get a chance, go out and catch it. Curtain goes up mm -hmm. Thursday at 730 and uh, four performances. Break a leg, you guys. Uh, thank so you. glad to have you here. And welcome to the Delta. Uh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Much. We'll be back right after this.